I'm wearing my my uh, C C3Z.me website uh, hat. Um, that's my Christian centric um, Rock Me Amadeus version website. Um, it's takes YouTube content and tries to make it make it play in such a way that there's no advertisements. If anybody wants to use that, that'd be probably a good way of getting a lot of the COVID videos shown to people in, in succession without YouTube throwing up other crap that you don't want to watch. Um, but anyhow, um, I was sitting there blowing off the deck and I had all these acorns I was blowing and I was thinking to myself, you know, what if there was a way to shred this virus? Um, how about changing the, the air, um, not filtering out the virus, but shredding it, uh, making it ineffective by destroying it um, by any means. Um, if you could imagine having um, a shredder or something that could shred um, particles, um, shred um, not molecules, but shred proteins that might be floating, floating around in the air. What if you could do that? Would that be a solution? Uh, I mean, that could probably be a way of creating filters, um, having something that shreds the stuff going in in such a way that it doesn't have a, as much of an effect. Um, so why not using a shredder? Is there a way that you could create a um, create a virus shredder? Something that shreds rather than filters, um, making it ineffective, um, getting, destroying the, the organisms. I mean, you can't destroy oxygen, you can't destroy atoms, you can't really destroy molecules, but you might be able to destroy proteins. Um, is it possible to get metals at that level or get something that could actually cut a, uh, a protein and, and uh, kind of destroy it? And could you get it in a, as great a uh, density as that? Um, or is there a way that you could do that? And it, would it be a kind of a solution where you don't have to be filtering or collecting, but actually destroying the effectiveness of the, the virus itself. 